Hello everyone, and before I get started in this fantastic DLC, I did actually plan to do it in this really rainy, like really moss, really whoa, damp type of you know type of atmosphere um, on purpose because I wanted to set the scene for what this uh, Far Harbor DLC can you know spring forward and you know it's fantastic. Um, I'm basically going to give you the brief, then we're going to go off to uh, Diamond City, um, off to see the lovely Valentine's uh, Detective Agency. Um, I was supposed to do this uh, where I click onto the radio, uh, but subsequently uh, there is no radio because I um, clicked off of it and stuff. Anyway, right. <laughs> I was gonna, it said listen to the radio for the Valentine Detective Agency. Listen to the radio frequency. You know, to start the quest. Anyway, I've already done it. We need to go talk to Ellie, uh, who's actually the assistant of the, uh, Mr. Valentine himself. And uh, for you viewers out there, um, sadly, uh, in this like uh, lovely uh, Far Harbor DLC, um, there is a moment where it would be very advantageous to the dialogue um, if I had Valentine, the detective Valentine, the companion you can get in the game, uh, in your party. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you could have them with you as you uh, do the questing and all that kind of stuff, which I was going to do, which is kind of why I kind of wanted to uh, look like Constantine. So, uh, yeah, have you seen me? Look at that, Constantine. You know, from the thing, I also wanted to look like a detective, but, you know, now I'm in Marvel. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. I'm not going to get sued for that, am I? No, no. Anyway, so we're going to go off. Uh, I just want to do that. Quick little intro uh, before we go and spend the next 40 hours um, basically running around what could be considered a harbour um, and then the following little woods around the back. That's essentially what you do, by the way. <laughs> running around we get to go uh, start this whole detective agency thing i'm going to try to be as immersive as i can when we get to the actual thing i i was thinking if i'm going to do the voice for the entire thing like okay we've arrived or something like, <laughs> sorry like that I'll, I'll have to play around with it as we go um just you know when there's comedy moments that are just you're going to need me to go sapien son where's your dialogue why are you not popping in with a nice little fucking sarky comment that's going to make us all laugh and giggle shit um well Fine, yeah, fair enough. Um, and you will do, um, depending on where we go. So, right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to currently... <coughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to... There was someone who commented, by the way, uh, in the previous um, episode for the next gen that said, uh, oh, you, it's your gun says Trump 2024 blocked. I, I was like, excuse me? How dare you? Uh, I will name my gun whatever I can because I like to laugh. I like to laugh. Um, and I'm not some bitchy uh, little pussy on the internet who wants to comment about some... <laughs> who blocks someone over the name of a fucking gun? Well, I read that. I couldn't tell if he... By the way, if that was sarcasm, um, full disclosure, fair enough. Because uh, that's funny. But if it's not, that's serious. You know. And then I went to... And then I was like, no, I found this gun. I called it two terms. And I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm getting into changing um, what I'm going to be using. I kind of want to use the 44 Magnum. Uh, or whatever it kind of feels like that you know it kind of feels like Valentini um, what I was gonna do is I was kind of want wanting to go at oh hang on let me just travel there for I was gonna kind of wanting to um, do the whole Valentine gets the, the the pistol the really awesome one we're gonna like tag team it you know like Columbo and his cyborg Columbo friend um, and <laughs> no I could I literally can't find him I tried literally by the way look if you've noticed and you've watched this I just have to mention this I literally was searching for him so madly and so sporadically, right, that I killed everyone here, there, in all of my settlements, just to make sure I didn't have one in there. I was like, ah, ha, 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 ha. which is kind of interesting in its own way, because um, I kind of wanted to just remove everything to make sure I had good FPS and frame rates and stuff like that. So uh, now I can't find him. I literally do not know where he is. Uh, he might pop out somewhere. I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna go in here. He might be. He might be here. He might have come back. No, I checked here before, but I didn't think he was here. No, <laughs> uh, he might have been. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, right. Let's go in. Start this uh, lovely Far Harbor DLC. Thank case. you very much for being here. And uh, excuse me. Uh, I am here. Yes, I am here to go. And uh, yes, that exactly. Right. Uh, so let me hear that, man. Yes. Um, I, by the way, I wanted to kind of do Bergerac. That's the kind of person I was, I was going after with John Nettles. You too, man. You legend. Oh, fantastic. By the way, uh, go check out what the hell Bergerac is. Um, but... Anyway. Excuse me? No, no, no. Let's, uh, let's, 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 hear, let's hear it out, man. Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth. 
Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Right. Uh, well, I'm <laughs> obviously I'm on it. Kenji, uh, I'm going to go meet him. Uh, where we need to go to is kind of like at the top of the map. So I'm going to basically have to like... <laughs> <laughs> I've got. I don't think I've got anywhere to fast travel there. I think we're gonna have to. Get, basically, we're gonna go have to travel around the beaches. Okay. There's uh, there's beaches for days. I, I pack and up. excuse me. Uh. Well. No. Um. Yeah. I'm on it. I'm, yeah. It's fine. We, yeah. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. Uh. Well. Uh. Beautiful. Thank you very much. And uh, Nick, where you at? <laughs> Where are you at, buddy? No, he's not here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Ellie, uh, seriously, it's fine. I got, I got this. It's fine. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so we need to go see the uh, lovely uh, people up there in the fishing house or whatever it's called. Let's do so. Okay, so. Okay, lovely. Now, is, oh, is that, is that it? Just, just there? All right. Lovely. Okay, coastal cottage. And we'll be um, hop, skip, and a jump all the way there. And it's going to be amazing. Right, okay, so. Now, presumably, it's uh, just over there. <laughs> I don't think it is. Yeah, okay, there you fucking dick. Okay. I thought it was uh, uh, like way off. <laughs> uh, but no, it's right there. Now, if I could edit this stuff, and by the way, if you wish to like and subscribe, in order for me to get a PC so I can edit this stuff, feel free to do so. You're more than welcome. I mostly post this stuff for fun and uh, because I love you all fantastic so much. You know what I mean? Uh, you come across this channel and then you do some beautiful things. Like comment and like and do that other stuff. Making sure that I smile and go, oh, somebody's watching. Oh, beautiful. I do feel good. So thank you very much for that. I just want, And uh, I am very humble because in the way that... I always feel this need to thank you guys because I know I say it all the time. Thank you very much. Uh, hmm. Over lava. Yeah. Nick Grounds ain't got nothing on me there, fire. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. Right. Maybe you like different voices like that. Anyway. Thank you very much for coming here, uh, and yeah, I just want to keep, I always just want, always want to say thank you very much to whoever comes along. Thank you very much. Okay, so, it's high noon. Oh, one shot. Oh, fantastic. Um, I did, in between uh, episodes, fully upgrade this thing. Uh, I actually took, uh, by the way, congratulations to me, I am level 50. Uh, that's brilliant. And I got Max Gunslinger. I am officially uh, a badass, you know. Going into Wild Wild West. And if you haven't noticed, uh, this is quite a little journey on its own, all right? Jeez. <laughs> Imagine if... <laughs> Imagine if I hadn't had that uh, fantastic fast travel. Where would I have gone? Where would I have been going to in that journey? That's just insane. Okay, right. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, well, there, there's, the ha there's the house. I mean, it's all right. It's, it's beautiful, I suppose. Um... Okay, Mr. What's his name? Ancano? Ancano! No, that's Mexican. Uh, I, I don't know if it's racist to do any other accent besides the one I already Damn have. Uh, oh. Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Can you shut the fuck? Can you shut the fuck? Shut the fuck. God, they're so loud. They could be raiders or gunners or God knows what else. You are so loud. That was so loud. How fucking loud are you, man? Hang on, let me just. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> no, I don't I want to be. Okay. okay. Right, it's, it's quite rude, okay, if you don't come to the door and check out your guests. It's very, very rude. What? Um, Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Well, uh, <laughs> hi, uh, I'm actually from, yeah, the Valentine Detective Agency. I'm, I know that you're, hang on, do we go in this? No, no I'm, I'll, I'll be professional. Hi, I'm from the uh, Valentine's Detective Agency. I'm with Valentine's Detective Agency. You asked for help? Oh, thank God. You have to get working right away. Uh, well, I don't really like to be commanded. Um, 
Bers- <laughs> Joel Nettles does not like to be fucking mad. No, no, no. Um, what's your story there? Uh, what's your story with the Nick? Well, to be fair, yeah, you would have asked for him. And then, so, yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. Well, that's, uh, okay, that's been... <laughs> Fair enough. You had some like sort of like uh, rush hour type of thing. I dig that so much. It's amazing. Um, I think maybe I should have the same sort of uh, effect or not. I don't know. Wait, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm John. I'm, I'm essentially uh, like. All right. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. I think that should be made into a way better movie. Nick Valentine. Oh, my God. Just just make. Can, can someone out there just uh, if you know anyone, um, can you just make like budget? Nick Valentine movies, like really shitty ones. Well, not no, they're good, but like you know, they just cost like two hundred grand, and they're like a movie, and they're done because it's it's awesome. Just Hello? if you could, that'd be amazing. Like Jackie Ch- Jackie Chan, and uh, <clears throat> Chris Tucker is uh, Nick Valentine or some shit. I don't know. I don't know. Just AI that shit, it'd be fine. Anyway, uh, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She oh. would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Well, uh, naturally I will do, but, um, I, why have I got such a stupid smile on me? Uh, that's, <laughs> okay, yeah, tell me about how, how, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, yeah, yeah, cool. Like, ironically, I, I actually look like Jim Krasinski from, uh, Jim, is, is that his name? Uh, John Krasinski, uh, from The Office, who plays Jim, uh, that's actually quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just know Sam. I kind of look like him. It just one. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I will ask for money because I'm not a charity. Okay. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Of course. How does three hundred and fifty cap sound? Well, I mean, I could, that, that seems alright, but I'm talking about like expenses and uh, ammo and stuff like that. If she so. went far, that means travel expenses. We could make it. 400. Oh, oh, come on there, man. You know, I'm like, I'm 2% Chinese or some shit, I think. That's something in there. Um, uh, so, you know, maybe, you know, brother from another mother. Um, I always have a sweet, you know, Jim, John, Jim, John Krasinski kind of thing going on. So, <laughs> Hello? I'm just trying to make excuses, so I just, just don't feel like a dick, because obviously, I know it's a game, but I wouldn't, <laughs> I would personally like haggle, do you know what I mean? I'll go, yeah, well, that's what you can afford, I'll just take that and I'll be on my merry way there, good sir, uh, but okay, whatever. Don't hold out on me. You want to find your daughter, right? 500 caps. That's all we have. Hmm. And uh, now I'm seemingly uh, invested into... Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, if you pay for the best, which is me, you know, sh- sh- John Nettles, Bergerac. Seriously, go watch the uh, episode. It's fantastic. Where I'm from, I come from Jersey. It's a lovely little island, uh, four miles by nine. And there was a detective series <laughs> that was really Hello? kind of silly. But, all oh, right, it's fantastic. Played really seriously and it's really good. Called Bergerac, which was play- was actually filmed on my island of Jersey, uh, of the Le Jury de Bailiage or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, check it out. Seriously, it's pretty good. Anyway, right. Besides from that, where which is, by the way, that's the Bergerac reference I'm referring to, which is very popular where uh, I come from. It's yeah. culturally relevant. But if you don't know, now you know. Okay, so, right. <clears throat> I shall find her, sir. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Hmm. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Ken and Jama. I don't know what you <laughs> You never said your name. I don't know. So anyway, right. Um, Ken. Right, okay. So what we need to do is we need to go around and basically... Uh, okay, check it. Check out. 
if I know which way to go and I just do this kind of stuff as is, if I know where to go, <laughs> is that cheating? If I go, okay, right, this is one, or okay, if you come across my channel, this is one of those moments where I've already done this bit and I kind of know, and it's way funnier if I just sum it up, what we did. <laughs> you know, I just cheat and I go, okay, I know where to go, so don't worry about it. And, I, and I'm going to cheat, so, uh, and I'm going to sum it up as we go, so. Um, <clears throat> oh no, I am lonely Japanese girl in the middle of the Commonwealth. Uh, yeah, if you're uh, confused about yourself, why don't you come and uh, join the robots? Maybe you're a robot. Oh my god, you're a robot! I don't know. Maybe I am a robot. I, I don't know if this is racist or not. I'm going with it. Yeah, maybe I'm not a robot, but I'm, I sound like I've slightly got down. I don't want to be cancelled, but I sound like I'm, I'm Asian and slightly down syndrome instead of a female Japanese woman. But obviously, I can't play either, so never mind. So, what it is, uh, in on the back of this thing, search, yeah, okay, find the key. We're going to go here. Okay, there you go. Brilliant. Okay, so all you need to do is we need to uh, just do that one there. So, uh, <laughs> if you know, from the accent, you just say, I'm moving on quite swiftly. <laughs> and then, you're like, sorry, no. I'll accept it was shit. Anyway, uh, who am I looking for? Uh, Kisumi. Radio lamp. What? Radio? What? I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, Kisumi's... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Obviously the final Project one. Log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then... They started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Ooh, and uh, that is what we're going to do. We're going to follow her up the way to Far Harbor and see if we can't rescue her. And as I mentioned, she was a confused girl. And uh, I feel, I feel, by the way, I don't know if it's spoilers or alert, but I... After all this, after all this stuff goes by, and uh, we finish the game, I personally, just right now, I don't believe that she is a synth. Uh, if she was one, maybe we'll find out. Uh, but that is as going into this uh, lovely little mission and uh, video. I'm saying right now, I believe that she is not a synth. Okay, if she if she is one, you know, fair enough. I don't I don't know that much. That's what we're gonna do in uh, this lovely series. I'm thinking if it's a different playthrough or a play playlist or something like that, but um, it's all good. Investigation. Did you find I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? <sighs> You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Well, uh, <laughs> you're going to get a kick out of this. You really are. Uh, so, my lovely Ken, um, you're uh, basically like um, going through puberty, uh, lovely daughter. I mean, she's 19, but she's very confused. It's basically like college. And uh, basically, like, the, the Mormon church is basically clawed into her brain because um, they're a bunch of religious robots. Have you ever talked to one? They're nuts. No offense to anyone who's, like, all good in religion or whatever like that, but, like, I've spoken to the, the Mormon people, and they generally look like sense to me. 
you know, <laughs> you know, like in the Matrix, you know, like if um, uh, the kind of like systems oh, and no. uh, Mister whatever it is, Mister Smith, whatever you know, me the full bit. Um, well, they they look the same thing except they're like Christian, but I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, so I don't know why I mentioned that. It just felt the same way. Like they're like a bunch of people. They go to college, they get indoctrinated as some bullshit. You're like, oh no. That's when they come home with like dyed hair and shit like that, which you know subsequently, ironically, the oh. Mormon church does not like. So, the analogy does not work there, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm saying. So, uh... I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Well, your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's. That's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Why did you, like, double guess... Why did you... Hang on. Why did you do that there? No, why did you do that there? Did you see that? The double take... I gave birth to her. Why did you... Why did you pause there on giving birth to her? There shouldn't have been... I gave fucking birth to you, bitch. I was like, no, you fucking come out of my womb. My mum, my mum would be like that the second I said like. <laughs> if my, if if anyone said to my mum, uh, like he did not, he's not your son. It was like, excuse me, bitch. <laughs> he came out of my what you know what I mean? I get birth to him and everything. Anyway, uh, yeah, maybe she. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so. maybe your daughter is just confused, having an identity crisis. Oh God, does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system. Thank you, thank you. Final right. gift from my father. And it's built for distance. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> ironically, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm getting a little bit choked up. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh at my own thoughts, and I'm just going to pause myself whenever I do. You know, laugh my own perpicacity or whatever it is. Anyway, right, I'll take it. He wants me to go up there. I'm, yeah, okay, I'll get to go. the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I'll try and bring. So this is the uh, first episode. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, coming back and. Um, yeah, I'll get her back. Sorry, I'll get her back. Don't worry about it. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Oh, hopefully, you know, not dead, but uh, hopefully alive. But um, God bless you. All right, uh, I'm going to take this boat and then um, summarily fuck off. Okay. Uh, brilliant. All right, bye. 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 Okay, cool. Oh, you fucking dick. I don't get to drive it. <laughs> uh, uh, hello? Are you, are you coming? You che cheer me off. Miss, uh, okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor McGonagall. Uh, take care. There's another cat over there. It's two cats. Oh, my God. This is the most cats I've ever seen in my life. Right, anyway. Uh, enough, enough, enough lollygagging. Right, uh, where are we going off to? No? H hang on. What the fuck? Uh... Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, click. You know, I, I always do this, right? I, I take the UI off, you like, for a little bit more immersion and stuff like that. And then suddenly, no, if I <laughs> can't figure anything out. So, anyway, uh, okay, so we we're going off uh, to Far Harbor. Let's, uh, let's go. Uh, sorry, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> By the way, uh, that was me being silly. I oh, thought there was going to be like a Oh my god, there's a kid here! <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not feeding him! I'm not feeding him! I'm not feeding you. I'm not feeding you. Ah, can you smell that air? That is beautiful. Oh shit! No, 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 no. Hang on. <laughs> what was that? Hang on. No, no, no. For just. Am I good? Am I good? It just was a bit weird there. Okay, cool.
And uh, <laughs> here we are. Uh, we have arrived. It is a shithole. Uh, but, you know, it's a, oh, you know, the smell of the countryside. Um, this is what Truro in uh, Cornwall uh, looks like now. It's uh, lovely. Uh, <laughs> and I got a trophy far from home. Genius. Oh, brilliant. Oh, hang on. There's a boarding party. Oh, fantastic. Welcome to Skagnet. You, by the way, I'm in equal opportunity to take the piss out. So, um, obviously, I'm taking the piss out of every single place on planet Earth uh, equally. And I think that's right. You know what I mean? That's right. Anyway, um... Here we have Chuck Norris and uh, uh, Ellen DeGeneres, apparently. So, um, hello. Uh, brilliant. Lovely. No. This is Far Harbor. We don't get many visitors around here. Mainlanders always think they know better. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a... A difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? Well, my uh, Ellen DeGeneres friend, um, which, to be fair, I think that's a little bit um, underhanded, because, to be fair, um, you actually kind of remind me of B. Arthur. <laughs> I don't know why, from Golden Girls, lovely. I like, like B. She's lovely. Uh, rest in peace, of course. I'll give you all the references, by the way, in this fantastic episode. Don't worry. I'm right well, there with I you. Have work. Um, I'm looking for Kasumi. She's a lovely girl. Uh, she's fat. Uh, don't interrogate me yet. No, Kasu we're looking for Kasumi. A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here, all right. Oh. Damn it. Mariners incoming. Something's coming through the fog! You! Help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post right. at the top of the wall uh, near the main gate. The up, up here? Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, uh, <laughs> I want to just show something else. So obviously, you've heard me use this. I think you've seen me. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you noticed how loud it is? <laughs> by the way, that damage, by the way, that's 412, right? Re just, get, just get this in your head. Okay. That's used an additional projectile. That that's that, that's four twelve. So presumably, right? If okay, obviously I'm not a complete. Right, I don't presume to be a massive, like, intelligent human bit. You know, what I mean, I I'm not Einstein anywhere from. You know, what I mean, I've got the brain of a fucking sieve, and uh, but let's be real. I'm going off the basis that that there in my fucking chimpanzee brain is eight hundred and the beautiful twenty four damage. Am I not correct? Please, someone let me know uh, down below. <laughs> oh. Well, no, it's fine. Don't worry, it's fine. Let me just... Something's out there. Mm. Oh. Can you hear that? Hello? What the hell? Mm. Uh, careful. You might have turned. Wait, no. Uh... What? <laughs> oh, hang on. I was, I was all content to watch that. Okay. Uh, 824 damage. There you go. There we go. <laughs> I am tempted to jump down. I was sorry. I went quiet there because one, I was coughing my ass up, and two, you know, as you do. Um, and God bless this new button on this controller. Um, yeah, <laughs> and to just wait for the whole time. It's fantastic. I, lo I like it. It's very incredible. It's beautiful. Right, so hang on. The quality of uh, the, the soundtrack. All this. Oh, well, hang on. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was that? Anglers. Anglers. What the fuck is an angler? Oh, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on! Fuck it, no, what the fuck? Okay, so we... 
Oh, <laughs> you know when I said I said I did this uh, this campaign, this uh, sorry DLC. Um, I might have been lying. I can't fucking remember. This was all new to me. I just I swear it was Far Harbor. I swear I did have Far Harbor. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I just don't think I noticed anything. <laughs> just <laughs> anyway, right. So uh, that was interesting. Okay. Uh, now that woman said she'll uh, obviously you know tell me everything now. Um, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? There you are. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. And for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. You managed to survive despite thank all you. that. You must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just. I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, one, yes, I do believe that you shouldn't just throw your fucking purse out into the ground. Uh, like a bitch, there, man, looking like a Chuck Norris fucking from Walmart or like Asda or some shit like that, looking like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. Like, relax, man. All right. <laughs> yeah, so it's fine. Yeah, it's saying? fine. Don't worry. Anyway, <laughs> uh, right. That was a perfect impression, wasn't it? Anyway, uh, kill the children of Atom. The fog's worse. Back to business. I yeah, I'm back to business. Okay, let's let's play this a little bit more wiser. I'm just here to fucking collect Kasumi. Like, after the fact, yes, I'll be able to help you out with whatever shenanigans you got going on. That's Take fine. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Have you tasted <laughs> <laughs> so, so you shut up. Um, um, I'm only human. I'm only I'm only human, but I salty. I, I bet. Just anyway. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar, the last plank. And uh, please lend a hand around town if you're able. Right. Okay. Even if it's slapped away. People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Well, aren't you? Oh, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> Color me my impression very well. Okay, good. Um, so he's the cranky pants who's... Uh, okay, he's in some sort of fucking fish bait. Okay. Uh, right, I tell you what. Let's, let's just have a little quick look around. Okay. Right. So, uh, this is the shop, okay. Uh, let me have a look at you. Can I talk to you? <coughs> Hello? To the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. Well, let's barter, of course. And, uh, yeah, what do you have? Uh, anything good? Um, I might, I might have, like, a fisherman hat, outfit. Uh, you know, change up my outfit, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, get a little bit more local. Right, uh... Letterman jacket and jeans. Letterman's? No, not the Letterman. The American guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the recall marine armor is one of the reasons I wanted to do Far Harbor first. Because it is basically like the ultimate armor. <laughs> and by the way, that's a straight 10,000 just to straight buy it. Um, the recall marine. And I think that you actually do get all of them in one go after you complete everything. So we're going to keep going. And we've finished that because 10,000 is ridiculous. That's just... Fuck no. I'm not doing... <laughs> it's not happening. We're not doing that. You know what I mean? Uh, right. Anything else? Anything else? No. Weaponry. Do you have... Do you not like have like one of your own little... Uh... No? Okay. All right. And just... Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing else? All right. You want yourself commodities? You know how to get them. Caps. That stupid wall is the only thing that kept you stowaways alive. That and the mainlander. The mainlander? <laughs> what kept us safe was harbormen and the firepower I sold them. 
Want supplies? Tell you what. Apply that big old brain of yours to dealing with the real threat. Those children of Adam whack jobs. Haven't you fouled up things enough, Alan? And now you mean to make it worse? They're still alive, aren't they? Figure I got a whole lot more work to do. No deal. But this isn't the last of it. Sure the hell looks like it to me. Uh... Rise. Clearly this was a private matter and I should not get involved, but clearly it means that I should. Um... <laughs> As it is, uh, right, so, can I talk to you, please, go on, what's your name, Alan, Alan, hi, Alan. Alan, huh, the mainlander, great. What'd you say, like a slur? A you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight, our island, not yours. Hey, when we have the same beard and I look like John Krasinski, you can, like, shove whatever, like, fucking negativity and, like, fucking, like, fake alpha male shit and go fuck yourself, all right? I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not, here. yeah, I'm just, I've saved your asses, yeah, fuck you, I saved your asses, yeah, get, get up with it, yeah. I am the one that saved all your asses, so, yeah, we've defended this damn dock from crabs and worse for months without you, yeah, you helped, but we've paid our dues in blood and bullets, the day we rely on outsiders for our security is that they were as good as dead. Uh, fair enough, and uh, I would. <laughs> this is where the power of uh, charm and charisma comes in hand, because otherwise, um, well, actually, to be fair, I'm really hoping that he's going to give me like a discount uh, or something. <laughs> I hope so. In my in my head, I'm like, yeah, discount. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, because I've been playing far. I'm going to be playing yeah, Mass Effect too soon, so when <laughs> just get into that. So right, okay, yeah, sh show some gratitude. I still put myself in harm's way for you. Some gratitude would be nice. We've had some real pieces of work come through here. But you've been... Uh, all right so far. Here, for your uh, help. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Right. Where the children of Adam are worse get you. Well, thank you very much for that lovely... I'm not going to ask you about the children of Adam because I kind of don't want to bias myself against them. Even though they are crazy fucking zealots, and the, yes, it, I don't. Yeah, I'll take a look. You got it. Uh, we all know. I think we all know. Hang on. Oh, it does double damage if the target is at full health. My, oh, I can't believe that. No, my way, my my gun is like way better than that. Uh, baseball launcher. Uh, fair enough. But then I'm gonna have to have baseballs, and that's just that, no. Uh, but I do want. I'll tell you what I do. Uh, I want uh, a bunch of um, grenades, yes. Molotovs, if you have them. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. Why is that good? <laughs> I don't know why that's good, but uh, okay. We can either get all this stuff. I am, by the way, I do know that my, um, basically my weapon is the most overpowered in the game, and it is amazing. Um, it's brilliant. So let me just. Okay, so if that's... Hang on, the last plan. Okay. Let me have a look. So, we need a few quests to keep us going, right? Um, and the thing is, we're going to have to go out to see Kasumi uh, and find her. So, l I think Longfellow's in here, did they say? And um, then I'm going to have to help out the town. So, I'll tell you what. When are we, we going to do all this stuff? When have we got the schedule? So, I think... Um, I think whatever quest we're gonna pick up all the quests from round here, okay? Then we're gonna identify the long fellow kind of fellow. Yes, I said that. And then, <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some quests, and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be lovely. So uh, this is gonna be episode one. Uh, that's right. I'm finishing the uh, episode right here. We will continue right here uh, because the thing is, I want to kind of collect all the uh, quests I can right now, and then I kind of want to head off to. In fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do. When when I come back after whatever, whatever, etc, etc, right? And I just come to the second episode of uh, Far Harbor. One of the things I'm going to do first is I will do the Longfellow thing. Because I, then he goes up to the uh, lovely auditorium. Uh, no, not auditorium. He goes to the... Uh, oh, well, what do they call <laughs> he, Well, he goes to the big telescope in the sky or whatever it is. Um, I, I literally don't know what the hell, hell it is. Astrological situation that's going up on there with the big magnifying glass. The full thing, the planetarium. Um, and I'm basically going to go and uh, follow that. Then we go up there, 
right? Are you following me so far? I'm not talking out my ass. Okay, then we're going to go up there, and then I'm going to get the fast travel location, and then from then on, we're basically going to uh, go on a bit of a quest hunt, a uh, bit of a location um, explorer, because otherwise we're just going to do the main quest, and all these little bits, you know, get, just get pushed to the wayside, and uh, I want to highlight it all. So, thank you very much for coming by. Uh, it's me and uh, Constantine slash Chuck John Krasinski um, and I'm loving it, it's fantastic so far I love the fact that it's a little more theatrical which is hopefully what I bring to the table or not, whatever, it's fine but <laughs> save a long story short and the fact is I'm going to be right back here again, um, thank you very much for being here and uh, coming along and uh, shooting the shit with me and uh, talking and all the rest of it you know, comment down below if there's anything you want me to see any games you want me to show you and uh, all the rest of it. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.